Alright guys, let's talk about the basic materials needed for this Picasso style of art. The most important one is the mask. As you can tell, this mask has respirators on the side, filters. I highly recommend this mask. You can get it at pretty much any hardware store, especially if you spray paint as much as I do. It comes in very handy. Basic colors of spray paints, orange, white, black, get extra black and white, red, yellow, blue, and green. Basic colors, nothing too extravagant, no purples, no pinks, just the basic colors. Straight edges, different size straight edges will come in very handy to create different effects, such as water effects, lighting effects, uh, help you manipulate the paint better. So, the more sizes you have, the better. Great. Okay, put those aside. Uh, masking tape and painter's tape works really good. You don't want to use anything too, too strong like duct tape different types and sizes of lids. Uh, bolts work good. As you can tell, just put a little bit of tape here on the top. And this will be used to create planets. And you can easily remove them. Uh, keep different sizes laying around, guys. You can find this in cups, lids, pretty much anything. Uh, look around your kitchen. You can find stuff that <laughs> if your parents will let you or you know if you live alone that you don't mind getting spray paint on. Uh, the caps from your spray paints, they work good too, so keep those handy. Uh, different sizes will help in creating dimension, uh, perhaps distance, especially in your space paintings, different size of planets. The smaller the planet, you know, the further away it is. So very important, very handy, very easy to get stencils for. Magazine sheets, pretty much any type of magazine sheet works great. Uh, this is a sports magazine, as you can tell, just very average. Here's, uh, here's another type and we just tear pieces off. Yep, pretty much any type of magazine works except those that look like a newspaper. And you can tell, you know, it looks just like a newspaper. Real matted, real, they'll, they'll absorb the paint. So let's talk about poster board. This is an 11 by 14 poster board. And we use the glossy side we always use the glossy side we don't want to ever use on the matted side because the paint absorbs it's absorbed by the matted side so we want to retain the most paint as possible on the glossy side and it'll just help us manipulate the paint better it stays wetter a little bit longer and as you can tell it'll just look better and give it a poster quality so the matted side we do use uh, to sign to put our name maybe the title of the painting well, I hope you guys are ready. I hope this uh, has helped you answer a lot of questions. Let's get started.